everybody. I am Janet and today we are in the Mother Goose Club Playhouse Kitchen and I am joined by my friends Anna Grace. Hello. And my friend Lucas. Hi. Today we are making pizza. Yes. We made our dough and now it is time to roll out our crust. Now what we want to do is we want to put a little bit of flour on our rolling pin that way the dough won't stick to it so much. Let's get to rolling here. Here is a trivia question. Does anybody know who invented pizza? Gooey Lou. Gooey Louie, I love that name. I don't think he has anything to do with pizza. Uh, do you have a guess? I have no idea. His name was Rafael Esposita, June 11th, 1889, and he was making a pizza for Queen Margarita of Savoy. And so on it, he put tomato sauce, basil, which is green, and mozzarella cheese. So you have red, green, and white, which were the colors of Italy. Uh, we will give uh, Rafael Esposito some credit today for making pizza. All right, so I think that I'm good, but it's like I... Oh, I don't like it! <laughs> you guys give it a try, that's kind of fun. It's kind of like action, like a frisbee. Yeah. Wow, that's good stuff. Oh yeah, one last twirl. So we have made our pizza crust. They're all looking very, very delicious. Now, what do you suppose is the first thing we need to do? We need to put pizza sauce on. All right, so with that said, everybody grab a spoon and pizza sauce away. All right, so once you're fine with how much sauce you have on there, all right, you guys are good with that? All right. Now we're going to talk about the ingredients we can put on top of our pizza. Now, you mentioned put that you like what on your pizza? Pepperoni and cheese. All right. So are you going to put your cheese on first or your pepperoni? Cheese. All right. So away you go. Now, what, are you, what would you like to put first on your pizza? You know, I think I'm going to do something really funky. I'm going to put my cheese on last. Ah, oh, very, very creative cool. here. All right, so what would you like to go with first? Probably bacon. <laughs> All right, so she's going to put a bit of bacon. Now, I am going to go uh, the route of Chef Lucas over here, put a little cheese. Have you guys ever had avocado on a pizza? Is Not that a pizza. what you make guacamole out of? It is what you make guacamole out of, but I love avocado, so I'm gonna put a little avocado here. So you're gonna go for a little pepper there, a little orange bell pepper. I think that's a good idea. Now, where are you gonna go from here? Um, sausage. All right. Oh my goodness, all of this smells so good. I just wanna like eat it. Ah, it <laughs> won't be long now. And uh, so I've got my peppers, I've got my avocado. I might go with a little more cheese. I might, oh, you know what, I forgot. That looks really yummy. And then I'm gonna put some black olives on there just for good measure. There we go. All right, so now it is time to put the pizzas in the oven. Can you say, la pizza? La, la pizza. pizza. In the oven. In the <laughs> oven. <laughs> you always wanna be careful with the oven and have some assistance with that. And now we will set our timer. All right, and we wait. Oh goodness, this is Lucas's pizza. We're gonna put that right there. This is Anna Grace's pizza. And then this is my pizza. <laughs> Do these so not look amazing? And they smell fantastic, don't oh, they? Yes. Uh, are you proud of your creation? I think it's gonna be really good. All right. And you're excited to try yours? So good. I say it's time to cut into these pizzas and let's have a bite. I think the word for the day is bon appetit. Everybody try a bite of your pizza. All right. <laughs> That's pretty good, guys. How about yours? <laughs> oh, it's a little hot. So, no, it's a little hot. All right. So we have a few <laughs> final words for you. <gasps> bon appetit. <laughs> we'll see you next time, Mother Goose. See Gishka. you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Are you willing to try some avocado there for me? I'll try it. All right, come on, Lucas. Would you say that an avocado is a vegetable or a fruit? A um, fruit? It is a fruit. It's actually a single seeded berry. Okay, so how about a little bite of onion? Wow, onion is very delicious. <gasps> oh, it's hot. It's spicy. Oh, it's hot to oh, you. A little bit of an anchovy here. This is a fish cured in uh, salt and oil. Anybody brave enough to try this with me? Oh, really? 
really salty, really fishy. Super fishy. <laughs> Kinda tastes like the aquarium smells. Hello, Mother Goose Club. My name is Gianna. Today on Playhouse Challenge, we're going to do a new challenge called the Taste Test. Our contestants today are Chamberlain and Calvin. Hi. We're going to blindfold ourselves and taste test different mystery foods. Then we're going to try to guess what each food was. After we taste test a mystery food, we'll give a point to the person who guesses correctly. Ready? Let's begin. Here's our first food. The first mystery food is celery. How does that food feel on your hand? It feels really ruggedy. It feels hard with ridges. How does it smell? Like grass. Oh, like cat food. What color do you think it is? I think it's green. Orange? What does it taste like? Like leaves off a tree. Like seawater. What food do you think you just ate, Calvin? Sardines. And Chamberlain? I think it's celery. Let's move on to our next food. The next food is cabbage. How does this food feel in your hand? A brain! Feels like wet, crumpled paper. How does it smell? Like the ocean. It smells like water. What color do you think it is? Turquoise. Blue. How does it taste? Like paint. Tastes like water. Chamberlain, what food do you think you just ate? Broccoli pizza. Calvin? Cabbage. Let's move on to our third mystery food. Here's our third food. Third food is raw potatoes. There you go. There you go. How does that food feel in your hand? Like a weight. Feels gritty. How does it smell? <laughs> like a fresh garden salad. It smells like dirt. What color do you think it is? Purple. Brown. Definitely brown. How does it taste? Like deodorant. Still dirt. Chamberlain, what food do you think you just ate? Wood. Calvin? An undercooked potato. Here's our last food. The last food is green beans. How does this food feel in your hand? Like a violin string. A soggy crayon. How does it smell? Mmm, delicious. Smells woody. What color do you think it is? Green. Red. How does it taste? Mmm, excellent. Tastes sweet. Calvin. What food do you think you just ate? A vegetable. Can you be specific, please? 
Rutabaga. And Chamberlain? Green beans, definitely. Okay, please remove your blindfolds and let's see who guessed correctly. The first food was celery, which means Chamberlain guessed correctly. The second food was cabbage, which means Calvin guessed correctly. The third food was raw potatoes, which means Calvin guessed correctly again. And the last food was green beans, which means Chamberlain guessed correctly. That means it's a tie game. Good job, guys. I tasted so many delicious foods today. My favorite was cabbage. My favorite was green beans. Thanks for playing with us today. We'll see you next time on Playhouse Challenge. Papa, are you baking cookies? Yes, for after dinner. I'm hungry now. Well, if you're hungry, you can have an apple. Cookies are for dessert. No sweets until dinner. Trash cans don't eat dinner. In your mouth. Uh, uh, uh. Sugar is not a healthy snack. Must 
have cookie. Papa said we have to wait until after dinner. I can't wait. Am I missing a cookie? Mary, Johnny. Yes, Papa. Eating cookies? No, Papa. Telling lies? No, Papa. Open your mouths. Uh... Johnny, did you want a snack before dinner? Yes. Which do you think would be a better snack? Uh... Thanks, Papa. They taste even better now after waiting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Mother Goose Club. Today we're going to do the Oreo challenge. So the rules are you, you eat an Oreo and you describe what you taste. And if you get it wrong, remember the bean boozle? This tastes so bad. I'm going to eat one of the bean boozles. Let's get started. So let's put our blindfolds on. Yes. Cookie number one. Zion. Diego. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tastes like cinnamon. A oh, cinnamon roll. Smell. It tastes like cinnamon. a cinnamon. It, it tastes like a cinnamon bun a little. Yeah, a cinnamon roll bun. That's what the cream tastes like. Yeah. All right. So cookie number one was a cinnamon cookie. Yay! Alright, now cookie number two. Chocolate. Yeah, chocolate cream. That's mm. very chocolatey. Chocolate cream. Chocolate cream it is! Yes! Alright, let's move on to cookie number three. Oh man, you guys are gonna get all sugared up. It tastes like pumpkins. Yeah, pumpkin. A pumpkin cinnamon spice? Yeah, pumpkin cinnamon spice. Pumpkin spice cream! Alright! Yeah. Have you guys had enough? No. No. Alright. Cookie number four. Mint! Mint, 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 mint. Mint, 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 no, no, don't throw it at me. All right, cookie number five. How is this? Birthday cake? No, birthday cake. Birthday cake. Hold on, I can't describe the mint stuff is still in my mouth. Birthday cake. All right, that cookie was red velvet. What the, uh, what? Yeah, the red velvet Oreo. Yeah, we get one. Boozle. Alright, cookie number six. You ready? Blindfold. Put your blindfold on. We have three more cookies. Alright, bring on All right, to six. Half time show. Alright, here we go. Bring on to six. I see you. Cookie number six. Cookie number six. Cheerio, cheerio, fruit. Yeah, fruit. Cheerio, fruit. Birthday cake. Birthday cake. And that cookie was lemon cream. What? Uh, I know it tastes something like lemon. I know this. <sighs> yeah, it kind of did taste like fruit. Oops. Where's my cookie? Oh, we haven't moved on yet. Whose hand is this? This is your father's hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Gross. All right, you ready for cookie number seven? Yeah. <laughs> he didn't stick my cookie. No, that's just like a same thing. Mm. Regular chocolate cream? No, not chocolate cream. Regular cookie, but chocolate cookie. Yeah, regular cookie. Uh, yep, regular and what chocolate cookie. cookie. Regular and chocolate cookie. Chocolate. All right, original Oreo. Good job. Yes. Wait, is it the chocolate one? Yes, the original chocolate. Baby. Are we done? One more cookie. Okay. All right, remember to have the blindfold on? Yes. Do some pop locking first. Mm -hmm. Pop lock. I want to pop lock. Ooh. All right, here you go. Last and final cookie. Ugh. The ruckus. This is the ruckus. No, this one's birthday cake. This one's so nice. Yeah, this one's birthday cake. Yeah, and the beige. Cake said what, what flavor is Yeah, I think birthday cake! Birthday cake, mm -hmm. birthday cake all day. Birthday, birthday cake! Yes! Happy birthday to you! <laughs> and that is the Oreo challenge. Did you guys enjoy that? Yeah, I know. Hey, people! Hey! <laughs> we hope you guys had a fun time with us and enjoyed watching us. We'll see you again soon. From the ruckus, everybody say bye. Bye! This is what the birthday cake looked like. It has tiny sprinkles in it. Yeah, look at the sprinkles. Bye bye birthday. Hi everyone, and welcome to Outer Space. I'm here with my friends and fellow space explorers, Natalie and Victoria. Today, we're having a special space-themed playhouse challenge. What's all this spaghetti and marshmallows for? Great question. For today's challenge, we're gonna see who can build the tallest rocket ship out of marshmallows, spaghetti, kite string, and masking tape. You're each going to be able to use a yard of kite string, a yard of masking tape, and spaghetti. 20 pieces of them. There's one rule. You're not allowed to skewer the marshmallow with the spaghetti. So, you have 10 minutes. Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. On your marks, get set, blast off! <laughs> Alright, well, time is up. Victoria, please, talk me through your creation. In order to make my creation acceptable, mm -hmm. I use the broomstick method, where you tie a bunch of spaghetti together. That way it fans out in a nice way, so that at the top of the broomstick, you have a nice little seating area for your marshmallow. Quite creative. And Natalie, please, what was going on through your head as you were building your creation? Uh, well, I was kind of worried that it was going to fall over and break. And the base did, but I wanted it to be sturdy so it could go into a pyramid so the astronaut could sit right there. And then I built an extension really high up. Very smart. Now, we all know the rules. The rocket ship that was the highest wins, but the two marshmallows had to be higher in order to truly win. So for this challenge, both of you won. Yay! Congratulations! <laughs> Well, that is all the time we have for today. We hope you enjoyed today's challenge. This is the Mother Goose Club Space Station crew signing off. See you next time. I'm bored. Me too. Let's take a nap. 
What? That's even more boring. Caleb, there's nothing to do. Well, there's always something to do if you use your imagination. Imagine what? Imagination, Johnny. That's right, Mary. You can do anything if you can imagine it. What? Ooh, can I try? I love to play pretend. Sure, Mary. Let's start with you. I've always dreamed of taking a nap on a big, fluffy cloud. Ooh, soft and fluffy. <laughs> Wait, we're going to take a nap? I thought this was supposed to be fun. What's more fun than a nap? Mary, what a great comfy cloud you've imagined. Johnny, how about you add to Mary's idea to make it even more fun? Hmm. Hi, Johnny. Blanket Monster, what are you doing here? I know all about imagination and I have an idea. Okay, what is it? Shh, it's a secret. Okay, I know how we can make this cloud better. How about we add some relaxing noises? Great idea. <laughs> what kind of noises? Maybe some ocean waves. Wow, mm. this is nice. And then, some really loud seagulls! Johnny, Johnny? Yes, Caleb? Causing trouble? No, Caleb. Telling lies? No, Caleb. No more seagulls. Ha, ha, ha? You ruined my cloud. Your cloud was boring. I made it better. Hey, let's try. Let's try one more time. Yeah? <laughs> OK. Mary, I think your cloud idea was great. What else can we do in your club? Ooh, I know. How about we dance? Johnny, come on, let's go. <sighs> Johnny, it's your turn. What else can we do in our club? Macaroni on our cloud? Of course. We can do anything you can imagine. Okay then. Let's have some yummy macaroni. Raining from the sky! <laughs> ah. <laughs> Johnny! Johnny, Johnny? Yes, Caleb? Telling lies? No, Caleb. Causing trouble? No, Caleb. No more macaroni. Ha, ha, ha? <sighs> this isn't fun anymore. Mary, hang in there. Let's try one more time, OK? Come on. <sighs> Mary, so the both of you like different things. Mary, you like to relax. And Johnny, you like to be silly. That's why we can't play together. Actually. That's why you have to use your imagination. How? Mary, what's the best time to take a nap? When you're tired? Exactly. And Johnny, what gets you all tired out? Playing, jumping around, running. <laughs> exactly, all those things. So first we can have fun Johnny's way, and then we'll have time to have fun Mary's way. Come on, guys. <laughs> what about some seagulls? Seagulls, please. <laughs> Macaroni. Macaroni, too. Me too. Me too. 
Does that mean it's my turn? Yeah, Mary, go ahead. Ocean. Mmm, perfect. I guess I could use a little rest. <sighs> Me too. So I'm gonna let these guys sleep. Thanks for pretending with us. Bye. Welcome to the Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. Today, we'll be performing the story of Johnny and his craft projects. I will be playing Papa. And I will be playing Johnny. Ha, ha, ha. Places, everyone. I'm supposed to use these beads to make bracelets for my friends. But I have a better idea. Making crafts? No, Papa. Making bracelets? No, Papa. Making messes? Ha, ha, ha. Ugh. I'm supposed to use this glitter to make sparkly cards for my friends. But I have a better idea. Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa? Making crafts? No, Papa. Making cards? No, Papa. Making messes? Ha, ha, ha. <sighs> I'm supposed to use this paint to make portraits of my friends. But I have a better idea. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Johnny, Johnny. Yes. Papa? Making crafts? No, Papa. Making paintings? No, Papa. Making messes? Ha, ha, ha. <sighs> A little messiness when you're making stuff is fine, but I think we should clean up a little and focus on finishing our crafts for our friends. You're right, Papa. I promise I'll clean up my mess. But first, can we make rainbow cards using this beautiful new color I made? You bet. Bye, Bye Mother, Mother Goose, Goose Club. Club! Hi, and welcome to the Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. Today, we're putting on our very own Johnny Johnny Yes Mama prank. I'll be playing Johnny. And I'll be playing Mama. Are you ready? Let's go! Johnny? Yes, Mama? Eating sugar? No, Mama. Telling lies? No, Mama. Open your mouth. Ha, ha, ha. No more sweets, Johnny. Okay, Mama. Now, where was I? Oh, 
Johnny Johnny? Yes, Mama. Eating chocolate? No, Mama. Telling lies? No, Mama. Open your mouth. Ha, ha, ha. I said no more sweets, Johnny. <sighs> okay, Mama. Johnny won't stop sneaking sweets, so I think we need a prank to teach Johnny a lesson. Mama? Eating ice cream? No, Mama. Telling lies? No, Mama. Open your mouth. Ha, ha, ha. Say, John, do you notice anything unusual about that ice cream? Yeah, there's a spider on my ice cream. <laughs> you got pricked, Johnny. But don't worry, it's a fake spider. Oh, thank goodness. The next time I say no more sweets, are you going to listen? Yes, Mama. You're not going to sneak any more snacks? No, Mama. And you're not going to lie? No, Mama. Good, because I may have hidden some more surprises in your sweets. Oh, but Mama! <laughs> <laughs> Spending a day at the beach is grand. Building a castle in the sand. Catching a wave in the salty sea. A seagull is flying over me. A day at the beach with my family. A day at the beach for you and me. Splishing and splashing in the sea. Flying a kite and feeling free. A day at the beach. A day at the beach. A day at the beach. Race a crab to its hiding place. I feel the warm sun on my face. I see starfish and sand dollars too, and a school of fish in a pool of blue. A day at the beach. A day at the beach. A day at the beach. for treasures on the shore. I find one clam, and then some more. I hold a seashell up to my ear. It whispers a story I long to hear. A day at the beach with my family. A day at the beach for you and me. Splishing and splashing in the sea. Flying a kite and feeling free. A day at the beach, a day at the beach, a day at the beach. Roar! I'm a big scary troll. No, not scary enough. Maybe he needs crazy hair. And big ears. Trolls definitely have big ears. Ready? Roar! I'm a big scary troll. Eh, I guess you're a little scary. I think he's perfect. Let's play. Okay, so where did three Billy Goats grow up? Uh, guys, don't we need a bridge? Oh, right. Will this work? Perfect. Awesome, but you'd better be ready. Goats, we've eaten all the grass in our meadow. And I'm so hungry. There's lots of grass over there. 
cross. Yeah, but all that grass is across the river. And you know who guards the bridge? A big scary troll. Roar! I'm a big scary troll. I sure hope somebody crosses my bridge. I'm starving. Come closer, Ghost. I got the plan. Yes. Amazing. Are you sure this will work? Just stick to the plan. Be careful. Clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop. Roar! Who dare clip clops on my bridge? It's just me, the little belly goat. Ha! You foolish goat. Now I shall gobble you up. like you, but don't worry, my sister will be coming soon, and she's bigger than me. Fine, little goat, I shall eat your big sister. Clip, flop, clip, flop, clip, flop, safe! Okay, my turn. You'll do great. Clip, clop, clip, clop, clip. Raw! Who dare clip clops on my bridge? Ah, uh, me? I'm the medium-sized Billy Goat Gruff. Yeah, you are much bigger than your little sister. Now I shall gobble you up. Wait, wait, if you want a really good meal, my big brother is coming and he's even bigger than me. He's huge and delicious like pepperoni pizza. Hmm. He'll be here any minute. Fine, I shall eat your big brother. Clip, clop, clip, clop, safe. Okay, here I go. Clip, clop, clip, clop. Raw! who dare clip clops on my bridge? Hi, I'm the big Billy Go Gruff. Hmm. You are the perfect dinner for a big, scary troll like me. Well, I'm big enough to know you shouldn't go around gobbling people up. Huh? And I'm also big enough to do this. Whoa! Whoa! Yay! Yay! And from then on, the three belly goats gruff ate all the yummy green grass they could have. And that big, scary troll never bothered them again. The end! Hey guys, wanna play again? Sure. Yeah, can I be the troll? Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna be the big billy goat, Graf. I wanna be a billy goat too. Okay. Hi, Mother Goose Club. Look at this towel my friends and I spent the day making. We made this town and this car out of a few cardboard boxes. Let's take a drive and see who's out around town. Stop! Oh, who are you? I'm a police officer. A police officer? What does a police officer do? A police officer helps keep people safe and make sure that everyone is following the rules. Sometimes they direct traffic, like I'm doing right now. What a cool job. I think so too. The way's clear now. Come on through. Thank you. Bye. What a nice police officer. Oh, what's going on here? I'm just getting my fire truck ready for the day. What is your job? I'm a firefighter. A firefighter? What does a firefighter do? A firefighter puts out fires in homes, buildings, and even forests. I rescue people that are in danger, and I keep my town safe. Wow, that sounds like a very important job. Well, it's very important that I keep everybody safe. And remember, only call 911 when there's a real emergency. Will do. Goodbye. Wow, what a nice firefighter. Let's see who else we can meet in town. Oh, look. That person is delivering a package to my house. That's right. I have a package for you. Oh, thank you. Is this your job? That's right. I'm a mail carrier. A mail carrier? What does a mail carrier do? A mail carrier delivers packages and mail. They also pick up packages and letters that people want to send to each other. You must be very busy. That's right. There's so many things to deliver. Here you go. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have another package to deliver. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wow, what a busy day in our cardboard town. We met so many people. The police officer, the firefighter, and the mail carrier. 
Oh, after this package is open, we can add this to our town. Bye, Mother Goose Club! It's time to sing! Who would like to pick the first song? Ooh, me, me! Okay, Mary. What song should we sing first? Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. That's a great choice. Are you ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. This song is boring. Let's play Blanket Monster. Like a diamond in the sky, Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Johnny! I'm Blanket Monster. Blanket Monster? You interrupted our song. Would you like to sing with us? How about you choose a song? I know. The Itsy Bitsy Spider. That's a fun one. Let's try it. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried the blue. Papa, Johnny's messing up our songs. Johnny, right now it's time to sing. Blanket Monster doesn't want to sing. He wants to scare people. Maybe we could sing a scary song. A song about Blanket Monster? There's no song about Blanket Monster. Oh, Blanket Monster. Would you like to hear your very own song? Okay. The monster on the bus goes Ooga Booga, Ooga Booga. The monster on the bus goes ooga booga all through the town. Ooga booga! Way to go, Blanket Duh. Monster! I like this song. Hi there! Today we're gonna be playing Hide and Seek! Yay! I'll be it. Ready? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Come on, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, you'll be caught. Oh, oh no, where should I hide? Behind the fridge? It's too easy. In the pantry? It's too tight. Under the table? Oof. Dusty, but it'll have to do. Anyone in here? Under the sink? Not under the sink. In the pantry? No. Uh, 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 choo! Oh. What was that? You got me. Yay. <laughs> now, time to find Johnny. I need a hiding place. Quick. Or I need a blanket monster. Oh, 
I see you found Johnny. Now, whose turn is it next? I'm too tired. Me too. Papa, will you read to us? Okay. One story before dinner. Mary, catch! Johnny! Mary? Johnny, are you okay? Mary won't play with me. Hmm. How about we play a game that everyone will enjoy? Let's play the rhyming game! I want to play! I don't know. You can each choose a word to rhyme with. Johnny, do you want to pick first? Uh... Ooh, I know! Car! That's a great rhyming word! What about you, Mary? I want to rhyme with the word... Fun! Let's get ready to play! Here comes a word that rhymes with car or fun. Sun. That rhymes with fun. Sun and fun. Great job. Here comes the next one. St uh, R. That rhymes with k R. Great rhyming. My turn. My turn. OK. Here comes the other one. Home run. This one is hard. Let's sound it out, Johnny. <sighs> o -m -r -a -n -k -r. I don't think those sound the same. Now let's try fun. <sighs> o -m -r -a -n -k -r. Run and fun ride. I'm tired. I need to rest. One more time. Please. I have a new word. Okay. One more time. What's your word? Ooga rhymes with booga. <laughs> <laughs> Mother Goose Club Playhouse.